All right, on today's uh, topic, we are going to be doing an introduction to SPSS, or the Statistical Package for the Social Sciences. Um, so this is available on all of the computers in the lab here in uh, the COBA building, um, or they're also available on the computers in the library. So you have a couple different places that you can go to access SPSS. Um, you'll need SPSS to do your project as well as uh, various different assignments for class. So let's start. I've simply opened it up. Um, yours might look a little bit different if you're working on a PC, um, but I just want to show you what mine looks like. So this is what happens when it opens. It does take a little while sometimes for it to get open, um, just depending on how long it's been since you last used SPSS on that computer. Um, so there are a couple of options. The first option is to open an existing data source. So you can see these are the last two sources that I opened, um, a survey on poverty stereotypes, and then um, some other results, some data from a, a project that a group of students did last semester. Or you can choose to type in data. So let's start there. I'm going to show you how to input your own data into SPSS. So I'm just going to click that little radial button and then click OK. And so now I have a blank uh, spreadsheet looking thing going on. Um, and so this is what we call variable view. If you go down to the bottom here, you've got data view and variable view. So right now I'm in variable view. I can click over to data view um, and it is basically a spreadsheet. Each column uh, represents a different variable and each number in the rows represents a different respondent, a different person or place or whatever it is that you're um, measuring. So here we're going to assume that we are uh, collecting data on students as that's your assignment for class. And so I'm going to go ahead and input some variables. So I just clicked back over to variable view. I'm going to call my first variable age. So I'm just going to type that in. Now in the age, in this box, as I type in age, um, you have to keep in mind that you can't start with a number or symbol and you can't have any spaces in the name. Um, so this should be something sim simple, could be variable one, variable two, um, whatever you want to call that. So after I put it in, I simply tabbed over or hit enter and all the rest of the stuff came up. Um, and most everything we're going to leave alone, um, except for this column called label. And this is the label that's going to help you remember what this variable is. And so I'm just going to put in age of respondent. And so that's going to be my age. That's going to be my label. That's what it's called. So then I have a couple of other things here. I have values. Now age, if I was going to collect this data as a categorical variable, here's what I put in those categories. But I'm not. I'm going to make this a numerical variable so I can just type in those numbers. Um, and everything else, you're good to go. Uh, if you go over to measure, this will tell you if it's going to be uh, numeric, which is scale, ordinal, or nominal. So since I'm going to leave this as a number, I'm going to make it a scale variable. Alright, so let's put in another one. We'll go with sex. Um, and so I'm going to put here is respondent male or female. And then now, because it's not just inputting a number, I've got to give a numeric value to each response. So I'm going to simply, sorry, that was probably a little fast. I'm going to um, click on this little dot, dot, dot here, this little box, and I'm going to expand the window. And so that's what that does. So I'm going to give the value of 1 to female, and then I'm going to add that number. Then I'm going to give you the value of 2 to male, and I'm going to go ahead and add that in as well. And then, so now I've got my two choices added. If I want to be a good sociologist, I'll put 3 and other for anyone who does not identify as male or female. And then I'm going to click OK. And so now you can see that that changed, and now I have those, those options. Um, so once I have that in, then I can go back to my data view. So once I've entered all of my, uh, my variables, I can go back to my data view. And here you'll notice now at the top you see age and sex. And then you have VAR, variable, for the ones that I don't have entered. So now what I would do, go through is I go through my respondents and enter their age and sex. 
So for myself, I would enter 32, and then I would enter number 1 for female. Um, and so you just go through and do that for each of your variables and each of your respondents, and you've built yourself a data set. Now to save this, you're going to go up to File, and you're going to Save. And I'm just going to save it to my documents, and I'm going to save it as um, SPSS um, example data entry. You can call it whatever you want. Um, it'll tell you what variables you're going to keep, um, but just basically leave everything the same. Um, and then I'm going to save that to my documents. And after, as you're saving it, what will happen is you'll get this output. And this is SPSS output. So it opens up the screen every time you, you do something. And basically it gives you the command that you just followed. So it's saving save out file. Um, users, that's me, SEM11A, save to documents, and then it gives me the name. So anytime I do anything in SPSS, it's going to give me output or the results in this separate screen. And I can save the output as well. Um, but the problem with saving the output here is that I can only open output on a computer that has SPSS. So what I typically do is I copy my SPSS output and paste it into a Word document or a Google Doc so that I can use it later. And I'll show you an example of that um, with some real data. So that is how you open up uh, SPSS and enter your own data. Stay tuned and we will enter data using, uh, or not enter data, but analyze data using the General Social Survey.